Whew. Howdy folks and welcome to Coffee and Tools. I've got the big one in this week and this has been actually here for a while but I've been trying to uh, get back to it and it's it's uh yeah it's supposed to be I from what I understand I think it's the biggest one we've ever had in here so we're gonna find out today just how big is it this is from two trees this is the TS2 uh, we did the TS3 earlier this year and it's a fully enclosed laser and, and rotary machine and it was like really cool it was a pretty interesting machine this one here is the open air system but from what I understand it offers large platform area of work and really that to me is what we're going to find out because two trees seems to be leaned more towards uh, commercial stuff so hey let's hang out in the garage today put this thing together and let's check it all out right yes So the, the first thing we're going to notice is when we unbox this thing, it had three boxes in it marked A, B, and C. This one is a game changer from what I te they, they tell me it is. It's also a premium laser, so this is not going to be some really weird discounted price. Hopefully we'll have a good price on it and we'll be able to provide you a link to with the two trees that will show you where you can find these. They are sort of more of a almost industrial commercial kind of uh, machines, some of the stuff from Two Trees. They do have some really nice stuff. And this one has some features on it that I was like, you know, again, what? Wow, okay, great, you know. The build plate size, 450 millimeter by 450 millimeter makes it the largest laser we've ever had in here this year. And we've got, we've had a lot of them, so. It's going to be big. Now, all I got to do is uh, open these boxes and we'll start with uh, A, I guess, and hopefully we'll get some instructions, which we did. Yep, first one. Get some instructions and I'll tell you what, I'm going to get these boxes, get the stuff laid out. We can have a quick look, see how much assembly work we have in front of us and we'll get this together. And the very first thing I'm noticing with cable management is look at this chain thing here right there. Oh yeah, yeah. this. This is a, like to say, this is going to be a premium laser, open air, but premium. Wow. Okay, so I unpacked the three boxes. Wow. You know, uh, like again, I said, this is a premium machine, so it's got a lot going for it. Look at this chain for cable management. It's going to be really interesting when we get her together. Also have a red uh, glass at the front of the machine uh, to protect, I guess, uh, eyesight at low angles from where the machine is or something. I'm not really too sure why they did this. It's got a very large control package. Uh, I'm told this will run up to something like 10,000 millimeters a minute, which is really fast for a laser, but it can cut at like 3,000 millimeters a minute or something. So it's a 10 watt laser, but it's a very powerful 10 watt laser from what they tell me. Uh, also, the, the, you know, it looks maybe overwhelming a little bit, but believe it or not, these pieces will all go together relatively well, I believe. We're gonna, we got a lot of paperwork to go through, so I'm gonna go through the paperwork, assemble it, and we come back, we'll talk about how long it took to put this together and how hard or how easy it was. Uh, I'm not gonna take you through the build because obviously it looks pretty overwhelming right now, but it's, it's probably not that bad. Well, let's stop for a second, just update you. I've spent almost an hour just putting the, the hard, you know, hardware together with the screws and stuff for the assembly. It's been a little bit of a challenge, shall we say? I don't know if that's a good word. But uh, what I'm down to now is the, uh, the chain link stuff here. All this uh, drag chain and everything. Just getting it all hooked up, uh, bolted in, wired up, and then we'll get going. Yes. So what I've got right now is just a basic test for the laser. Uh, I have one issue right now. This has an auto sending system where it can self level the laser and I have no idea how that works because I went through the manual and I'll be honest, I don't understand it, but it was like, okay, whatever. Also in Lightburn, Lightburn doesn't recognize that device on there, so I don't have a way to use Lightburn to level the laser to where it's supposed to be, so I had to use a mechanical uh, view of the sensor probe here to where the laser is to try to set it. So what we're gonna get, go ahead and do is just run it and just, you know, see what we have. Uh, second test just to see if there's uh, any issues, but uh, so far, uh, the only thing I don't like right now, I like a mechanical way to check the height of the laser to make sure it's right as opposed to the auto uh, leveling.
Okay, are you ready for this? This is this is pretty cool. But uh, look at that. That's the laser setting itself up. Like I said, it, it's it's something that's uh, a feature on this particular machine. Besides the size, the uh, the chain, uh, which is really cool too. The chain is pretty neat because I like cable management. In this case, uh, the TS2 really has that. You know, it's together <laughs> definitely. So let's talk a little bit more about some of the features. Uh, it also has a, an app for your phone that you can set up so you can be working with the phone to run the laser. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Also the materials, um, I got to give you a, a list of these materials because the uh, reference for materials is absolutely insane. So here we go. Uh, material. Mm. And this is going to talk about speed for whether you're engraving or whether you're cutting. So they get a nice sheet here that explains it. And it includes plywood, acrylic, leather, electroplated coating, powder coating, uh, and anodon, anodic aluminum. Huh. Anyway, stainless steel, density board, pedal. I don't know what pedal is. <laughs> Plastic board and cardboard. And that's just for engraving. Now, for cutting, uh, plywood, one, one millimeter, two, three, four, five, six, seven to eight millimeter, and acrylic, one, three, and six millimeter acrylics for cutting. So, yeah, this machine, like I say, it's a premium machine. It, it's going to do a, it's going to do a lot. You know, the um, speeds and everything are on a chart in here, so that you've got your, uh, you have your amount of power versus how much speed you should be using to do engraving with which I kind of overdid it uh, today with this, but the test was just that. It was just a, just, you know, 100%, 6,000 millimeters a minute, just run it, and let's see what we have. This uh, chain, uh, drag chains I have here is just absolutely, you know, I've always complained about cable management with these machines. This is great. So we do love that. Uh, another thing too, of course, is the, this is kind of, like I said, uh, it's a good and bad thing. It has this leveling system instead of the old, you know, gauges and stuff to figure out where the laser has to be for the focal point. Because the focal point is where the work is. That's where the laser kind of collides and that's where the work is going to get done. That's where you're, you know, maxed out with the heat from the laser. So, just, you know, it's, it's a reference thing. Uh, the other features that it obviously is this just this 450 millimeter by four. this is the biggest one that's ever been in here so she's got a large work area and because it is uh, an open air there's something nice here with open airs that I do like is you can bring a sheet in from a side or from a back even and that sheet can be moved along and continue engra engraving so if you're engraving something like that's like you know really big something like this can do that and also just like say the physical size overall the assembly was not that great it's a little tough it was a little bit you know a little more involved and a little more frustrating than I expected so I was kind of taking my time being very careful because I wanted the machine set up the way it's supposed to be and run the way it's supposed to which it which it obviously it did but uh, yeah there's uh, a lot going on here with features the other thing it has that's kind of weird is the stop button is also your power button. There is nothing else on that control package. You do have a, a fire alarm in case uh, things get carried away and you get uh, <coughs> things get too hot. <laughs> uh, on the side here we have the port cable for the printer. We also have the power cable to plug into a uh, power uh, brick which runs the machine obviously. And you also have a little TF card slot which you know Again, it, it's everything you should need in, in a basic laser. This, like I said, this red thing here with the uh, glass in the front, I'm still not sure why they did it that way. Maybe it, it protects the eyesight and the running off the laser at that, in that direction. Uh, really, you know, don't have a lot to say about that. Now, there's another thing about this particular one that's different than most. It has dual belt drives on both sides. So both of these belts are driving the, uh, I guess we'll call it the gantry, you know, and the stepper motor for that is back here. So that's kind of an unusual, but a really cool feature that, you know, this machine offers that. Uh, also, <laughs> I still love that cable management. Anyway, uh, so, and it's a 10 watt, very powerful laser that obviously, yeah, I, I, I'm a little shocked at how 
how much dig in that <laughs> it did from from my settings. So who is this for? This is uh, for consumer and professional markets. This just imagine the size of this thing. You could do you know nice big placards or something for restaurants, anything like that. Just you know off the top. You can also of course do very small things and engraving on little things. It, you know it's just it offers the size and the capacity of what an open air laser can offer. It's just one of the, it's the big boy. You know. Uh, not just the beautiful cable management or the fancy uh, <laughs> laser auto adjusts here, but it just offers size and also a very powerful 10 watt laser, of course. Can't say enough about that. It's, it, uh, yeah, it's quite powerful. <laughs> I'm a little surprised. But it, it, you know, from the consumer professional area, I think it fits a lot of those criteria, especially if you want, if you need something big, you know, it's like, well, this will let you do big engraving. And engraving doesn't, it's what, unlike 3D printers, engraving does not take long, as you've probably noticed here. It, it's very quick when it uh, burns. And these uh, letters here are easily a good, I'm going to say easily, at least a single millimeter or better deep into this piece of wood that, uh, uh, was supplied here by again uh, two trees. I got to thank two trees again for sending this over to us uh, We've probably had it sitting here for over a month. I believe uh, It is the last laser this year. I'll be doing we are not taking in any more lasers. We're not doing any more lasers uh, partly because of the uh, more of the software thing uh, the software can get uh, really sticky uh, it's not the easiest thing to deal with it has a learning curve and I'm, you know, I'm having to find that it's, it's a pretty steep learning curve. Uh, this, as it turns out, is on a Z axis like a 3D printer, so that was kind of interesting. But, you know, it's really, overall, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice machine. The other feature uh, that this one offers is you can get accessories. The air pump, for instance, the airline is here. Uh, there is an airline here in the system. It's at the front here. It's just not hooked to an air pump right now, but if you if you desire that, yes, they have it. Also, Two Trees offers a rotary system, which can sit under here, and also extension legs to raise this up for like a rotary or something else. Normally, I just put mine on, uh, what, coffee, uh, <laughs> co coffee cans or something to raise it up, but yeah, they have professional legs you can, you know, extend it up with and uh, give you the height that you might need. Uh, so overall, uh, wow, you know, it's, it is probably, it is definitely the biggest. It is certainly for an open air, it's probably one of the best ones we've had in here this year. Uh, just love the, uh, some of the crazy features, but they really thought this out well. Also the accuracy, uh, I was told about the accuracy, I can't give you the number, but it was like, yeah, it's it is like any uh, open air laser it is extremely accurate about its cutting or engraving so there's you know shouldn't be any issues with that at all so if you're looking for the big one here it is it's a premium machine from two trees and it has all it has features I have not seen before it has a size I haven't had in here before so yeah it's <laughs> The TS2 is quite the machine, you know, yeah. Oh, also we've got, uh, got to say something here, uh, Black Friday's coming up. We're giving away a laser on uh, the 24th, I think it is. And also we've got Black Friday prices coming up on some of the, uh, on some of the 3D printers that we've shown earlier this year. Uh, I don't know what we're doing about Two Tree. We'll have a link for it and, oh, before I forget, this uh, honeycomb bit I've got under here that I use all the time, I will provide a link in the description below where you can find the honeycomb bit. It, uh, it's available uh, through, I'm an Amazon associate, so you know it'll be affiliated link for the, uh, for the bed. Uh, I use the honeycomb bed for all, my, all the uh, lasers that we've had in here. This one here is just so big, it makes my, this uh, so-called big bed look pretty small. <laughs> <laughs> but it still it does the trick it does the job you know it's a good thing and I'm gonna be out of here so uh, we're gonna say over and out yeah <laughs>